I lived in the UK for the first 20 years of my life and then I completely unexpectedly, without warning, told my friends and family I'm moving permanently to Vietnam. And that leads me to my first lesson, becoming a master problem solver. Moving to another country is not easy, but that's the beauty of it. I remember even just traveling from one side of the city to another was difficult because the taxi driver couldn't speak English and I couldn't speak Vietnamese. So it was always a problem telling them where to go, even just ordering food when there's no menu, which is quite common here. In fact, most food stalls don't have menus. How do you know what food is being sold if there's no menu, right? But having problems thrown at you constantly, relentlessly, every day, you very quickly become a master problem solver. You can reinvent yourself. I am a completely different person to who I was nine years ago. Seriously, if you knew me back then, you'd know what I mean. And this is for two reasons. Firstly, you can literally be whoever you want to be. If you want to be an extrovert and social butterfly, you can be. If you want to be incredibly ambitious or start dressing differently, you totally can be because no one knows who you are. No one is judging you. You don't have the kind of pressures to behave in a certain way or what would be considered socially acceptable that you might have back in your hometown. Secondly, because you do have problems thrown at you literally every day, you become a lot more resilient and independent and you grow very fast. I mean, in terms of personal development, I really can't think of anything more powerful than just literally being dropped into a foreign country where you don't know the language and you know no one. It's a big challenge, but it's a life-changing challenge. And I talk more about this, this idea of kind of reinventing yourself in the Transform Your Grades in 30 Days course that we launched last year. I basically go through step by step how I was able to reinvent myself going from being super unmotivated and quite honestly, extremely lazy to being super inspired. I went from graduating high school with a 1.3 GPA to graduating university with a 4.0 GPA. I completely turned my life around and I show you how you can do it too in a healthy way because that's important. I don't want you guys kind of studying 12, 13 hours a day because that's just not needed for the vast majority of you. So if you're interested in significantly improving your grades, just like I did, you can check out the Transform Your Grades course. There's a link in the description below. People do things differently and that's okay. So back in my hometown, almost everyone was white. Almost everyone was atheist. Almost everyone had a pretty standard nine to five job. But when I stepped out of that environment and I met people that thought very differently. So I've been living in Vietnam on and off since 2013 and I've met people from all corners of the world. But the range of people that I've met, the diversity in terms of ethnic backgrounds, cultures, personalities, opinions, is incredible. I mean, I met Muslims, Catholics, Buddhist monks, scientists, musicians, actors. I met people from Somalia, from Afghanistan, from Japan. And this is important because often if you hear someone's opinion and you strongly disagree with it, your automatic reaction might be, how can you think like that? You're insane. But when you've met so many people from so many different backgrounds, you start to understand, okay, you think like that because of your childhood or the way that you've been brought up or your experiences, right? It's more understanding because at the end of the day, your opinion isn't a fact. Your opinion is just an opinion and everyone has one. We're all shaped by our own experiences and upbringing. You become extremely independent. I was really pretty independent when I left the UK for Vietnam nine years ago, but traveling alone with no one to fall back onto if something went wrong made me fiercely independent because any problem that I faced, whether it's small things like getting around the city or bigger things like earning enough money to pay the rent, I knew that I was responsible for that. I kind of implemented a mindset of extreme ownership. This idea where I own everything in my world to an extreme degree, it means I'm responsible for every problem that happens to me. And because I'm responsible, it's my responsibility to fix it. And it's an incredibly powerful mindset to have as opposed to just blaming everyone else for your problems and then not doing anything about it to fix them. People are kind. 
I've met hundreds, if not thousands of people over the last nine years and interacting with so many people from so many different cultures has made me more optimistic on just the human race in general. We all just want to be happy and I think that maybe 98, 99% of the population understand that if you're kind to other people, they're kind back to you. So it makes sense in a civilized society that people are kind to each other. And we have some expat Facebook groups and I'm a member of some of them and I remember during the COVID pandemic, whenever there was like an elderly person struggling for food or a disabled person or maybe just a, a single mum with two kids that were struggling, the way that the community assembled and provided support in the form of food or cash or donations was genuinely beautiful to witness. The restaurant businesses that were forced by the government to close temporarily, but then they turned their restaurant and utilised their resources to provide cheap food at scale for free to the most vulnerable people here in Vietnam. It's genuinely something I'll never forget, the way people kind of came together to help one another. And on that note, I'm curious if you could live in another country, which country would it be? Let me know in the comments. For me, I genuinely want to live in Vietnam for the rest of my life. It's an amazing country and this is my home. So I love this place. I actually made a video just the other week. It was a vlog and I don't usually make vlogs, but it's a vlog on a day in my life. So you can kind of see what it's like living here in Vietnam. It's very different to how I would be living back in the UK, that's for sure. You can click on the card on the screen to watch that. Alternatively, I made another video called Seven Skills for Success that they won't teach at college because if you want to earn enough money to travel, then you should be learning the kind of skills that college probably won't teach you to help you get ahead. Again, you can click on the card on the screen. Whichever video you choose, I'll see you over there.